Hi, Assalamualaikum. So, meet you guys again. Uh, today, we are going to discuss topic 2, mechanical waves. But before that, I will be honored if you guys can uh, press the like and subscribe button below so that we will have more community in this channel. Okay? Right, let's see number one. A progressive wave is described as y equals to 2 sine 2 pi t over 0 0.4 plus pi over 80, where x and y are in cm and t is in second. Determine the following from this wave a amplitude, b wavelength, c frequency, and d speed. When we got this type of question, what we need to do uh, is the first step rewrite the equation. So I rewrite the equation uh, given y is equal to 2 sine 2 pi t over 0 0.4 plus x over 80. Then after that, uh, we diminish the brackets. Okay, diminish the bracket so that we will get y is equal to 2 sine 2 pi over 0 0.4 t plus 2 pi over 80 x. Why we want to diminish the bracket? Because we want to compare with y is equal to a sine omega t plus ks. This is the general equation of the wave. Okay, so this is the general equation of the wave. Uh, it is always easier for us uh, to compare with the general equation if we already diminish the brackets. Okay, so uh, as you can see here. Uh, after we compare, we can get the value of amplitude, omega, and k uh, directly. Okay, so here, uh, amplitude is 2, omega is 2 pi over 0 0.4, and k or wave number is equal to 2 pi over 80. So now we can answer the question A, amplitude is obviously 2 lah, okay. So 2 in the question is now uh, set to cm, so we need to change it to SI unit, so it will be 0 point, uh, 0 to meter, okay? And then B, the question asks for the wave number. The equation for the wave number is 2, 2 pi over lambda. So um, we've got k value in the comparison above. So, K in the comparison said that 2 pi over 80. So, we make uh, the value equals to 2 pi over lambda. And then, we arrange the equation to get lambda 80 cm. So, 80 cm is, is, is not in meter. So, change it to meter. We will get 0 0.8 meter. Okay, C. The question asks for frequency. So, uh, how to get the frequency? Uh, refer to the comparison above. Uh, the information that we get is omega. So omega is equal to 2 pi f. So the frequency is in the omega formula. Therefore, we can use uh, omega equals to 2 pi over 0 0.4 equals to 2 pi f. Okay, then we rearrange the equation to get the frequency. 2.5 hertz and the last one the question asks for the wave speed okay um, if you already go through the notes there are two speeds in this topics the first one is vibrational um, speed uh, that's for particle and the second one is is for wave speed so if the question asks us for wave speed or speed the equation that we use is f lambda, okay? f lambda, so 2.5 times 80, therefore we will get 200 cm per second. Uh, change it to meter, change it to meter per second, therefore we will get 2 meter per second. Okay, class, let's see number 2. Uh, figure 2.3a shows a graph of displacement against time and figure 2.3b shows a graph of displacement against distance of a progressive wave. From the graph, deduce a the angular frequency, b the wave number, c the wave 
propagation velocity, D, the particle vibrational velocity, and E, the displacement equation of the progressive wave. If you notice here, class, we've got two types of graphs. Okay. Um, actually, the graph Y against T is for particle, and the graph of Y against X is for wave. What I mean here, uh, just imagine if you go to the beach, okay, if you go to the beach, obviously, uh, you will see the wave, right? So, let's sketch the wave, okay. And then, um, you imagine that you have the ball of the wave, okay? So, this is the ball, okay? So, when the wave propagates to you, propagates towards you, so this is wave propagation. Wave propagates. Wave propagates tu lebih kurang macam wave bergerak ke arah kita lah. Okay. So wave propagates. Uh, maybe to the left, maybe to the right. So it's okay. What happened to the ball on the wave? The ball will vibrate upward uh, and downward. Okay. Upward and downward. So this is what the ball will do. So there are basically two movements here on the mechanical wave. The first one is the propagation of the wave itself and the second one is the vibrational of the particle in the wave. Okay, do you get what I mean? Okay, so if we have the wave, if we have the wave, basically in that wave itself, there are particles. Okay, so here I give the example of the particle is the ball. Okay, so that we can see, we can see in the bigger view. Okay, so when the wave comes to us or propagates, then we can see the ball um, um, vibrate upward, upward and downward, upward and downward. So Y against T is actually the graph for that ball. Okay, for the particle. And y against x is the graph for the wave propagation. Okay. Okay. Knowing that, uh, from the y against t graph, what we can read from the graph is uh, the period. Okay. One complete oscillation. Okay. You can see um I already sketched here uh, the yellow pen here. So this is the period lah. Okay, so we can get the information of the period and y against x, we can get the information of lambda or the wavelength of the wave. Okay, so there are two informations that we can collect from the graphs given. Okay, so let's see A from the y against t graph, we can find the period just now which is for second therefore we can find the angular frequency angular frequency means the question wants us to find to find omega so omega is 2 pi f or 2 pi over t so since we already get t therefore we can get the value of omega lah, which is 0 0.5 pi radian per second don't forget the final unit radian per second okay for number two so for number B, the question asks for the wave number of K, okay? So we need to know the equation of the K, which is 2 pi over lambda. So we can get the information of lambda in the graph of Y against X, above, okay, in the question. So lambda just now is, is 5 cm, change it to meter. So therefore, we'll get 0 0.05 cm, eh, 0 0.05 meter lah. So K is equal to 2 pi over lambda equals to 2 pi over 0 0.05 meter therefore we can get k is 40 pi per meter okay or you can also write it in uh, uh, without without pi lah okay or uh, 1 to 5.7 per meter uh, also write okay whichever you like so for c the question asks for the wave speed okay I tell you in the first question, there are two speeds, two types of speeds in this um, topics. 
the first one is wave speed and the second one is the vibrational speed for the particle okay because um, as I explained just now there are two types of uh, movement here in the wave okay when the wave propagates the particle itself will vibrate uh, the particle in the wave will vibrate upward and downward, upward and downward. That's why we have two type of wave lah. Because the particle also have the wave and the also have the wave, sorry. The particle also have the speed and the wave also have, have the speed. Okay. Uh, so for C, it states that wave speed. So wave speed, the formula is F lambda. That's why we, we use F lambda. Because the question asks for wave speed. Okay. So F lambda, we already get um, F is now. Uh, then we can get the answer. Lah. Okay, straightforward. Okay, for D, the question asks for asks for the vibrational velocity. Okay. Um, basically, this question is already out of the syllabus for PDT, but uh, it's always worth for you to know that. Uh, when the question asks for vibrational velocity, the word vibrational itself is actually uh, the keyword for you to know that this is uh, the question to find the particle speed, not the wave speed. Okay, so how do I know? Because the word of uh, vibrational velocity, okay, because only particle vibrate uh, in this. Uh, in the wave, okay. So that's the keyword here, okay. Since it's out of syllabus, so I'm not gonna discuss this, okay. Uh, it's just for your information, lah. okay. So, uh, E the displacement equation of progressive wave is what, okay. Um, this is uh, the same lah, uh, as SHM. Uh, the first step is we we write the general equation. So this is the general equation of the wave. General equation of wave. So obviously from the general equation, we need to um, fill in the blank lah, what is A, what is omega, and what is K. Okay, that is why I rewrite again um, by putting the value of uh, those items okay so the final expression that we need to uh, write here is y as t equals to 2 sine omega is 2.5 pi k is 0 0.4 pi as y do we write plus minus because uh, we don't know uh, whether this wave propagates to the right or propagates to the left so we just write the General lah, okay. General equation is plus minus kx. So that's why we use plus minus, okay. And then we will get one mark for, for this, and the other mark is when you state where x and y is in, is in centimeter and t is in second. So yeah, that's it. Right. See you again, guys, in the next video. Bye.